It's time for single song shows with me, Meredith Hobbs Coons, aka Lambsier, the musician. Um, I have Skunk Puppy on again tonight. She'll be joining us soon. It's going to be very, very fun. And um, that's really all that there's to know. So don't. Don't ask. Don't ask me. Because that's all there is to know. Um, yeah. Oh, what a night. I don't know. Is it? What kind of a night is it for you? That's what I want to know. Um, for me, it's a peaceful sort of night. Kind of. It's a tired night. That kind of night, too. Hello to Kevin and to Vicky and likely also Ken and to Paul DeWitt Hobbs, my father. Kevin says dangerous night. That's right. I'm in the dangerous nights club. Please, please watch. I think you should leave. Please. If you're watching this, I mean, I would even say you could skedaddle and go watch that instead of this. But I would say that, but I don't say that because, you see, my guest has joined. And I'm going to invite her now and summon her into our... Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Garage. Yeah, back in the garage. <laughs> it's safe. And Very nice. Can you hear me? Is my service? So what is? You... Yeah. I think... Do you want to um, play first to take advantage of the OK signal that you're enjoying at the moment, or? <laughs> I'm wondering how worried you are about your connection. Um, I went first last time. Do you want to go first this time? All up to your level of comfort, my friend. Because you see, in the moment, I want my guests to feel comfortable. I'm doing this one way or another. No nerves yeah. at this point. This is a freaking steal. So I can go first, I can go next. It's all about making you feel good and ready and comfortable. Oh, well, you have your guitar, and I went first last time, so I think you should go first, if you're okay with that. I am. Okay. I am just going to do a little holiday number, because I like little holiday numbers. I feel like this one doesn't get a lot of play. But, I mean, you tell me. I'm not out there in the clubs, so I don't know what they're playing. I assume they just play Christmas carols in clubs. Is that what they do? I'm not in the clubs. This time of year? We need some help. We're too much yeah. hiding out in our <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I think that's what they do. Clearly, Bing Crosby, White Christmas, up in the clubs. Right, that's a they good one. classic. Yeah, so I don't know if this one's up in the clubs. A small. <laughs> yeah, Kevin says he can confirm. Oh, good. Okay, I'm just trying to stay really current here. Okay, we've got a um, <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this one, I really like this one. I really like the melody. Lots of hoop de doo Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Hate that Christmas song. Do you know what this hoop de doo refers to? I could go on a whole freaking rant because I hate it so much. It it's that <laughs> holiday season one. It's like Andy Williams. I don't know what it's even called. It upsets oh, me. A hoop. Do -do and oh, God. 
Okay, I won't be playing that one tonight. Don't worry. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. What if you were? That would be so <laughs> awkward for all of us. I have to reconsider. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> That's my favorite song. I was going to play it. Dude, I even brought my hula hoop for the hoop to do. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, this isn't that one, but um, here we go. All right. The Christmas Waltz, of course. Play some Ryan Carey. <laughs> Frost to the window paints, candles gleaming inside, painted candy canes on the tree. Santa's on the way, he's filled his sleigh with things. Things for you and for me. It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say, Merry Christmas. May your new year dream come true. And this song of mine in three-quarter time, Wishes you and yours the same thing. It's the time of year when the world falls in love. Every song here seems to say, Merry Christmas. May your, your dream come true. Mine in three quarter time wishes you and yours the same thing too. There you go. Very nice. Thank you. I like that one. A little rhyme in three quarter time. That's right. Yeah, I was like. That lyric's a little, a little weird. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I Whatever. Really they really wanted to show off their music theory knowledge. A oh, waltz is three quarter time. Do you know that? That's what that line says to me. Yes, I was. I really honed in on that moment. Like, is it in three quarter time? It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a. It's a weird flex in a song. A waltzing, just... waltzing Christmas song. To call it out, be like, it's in three quarter time. <laughs> they need something to rhyme. They just threw it in there. <laughs> they did. That's a forced, it's a forced rhyme, but they're trying to make it sound learned. That's what I think about it. Musical, yeah. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's not one of the ones that um, you hear so often. So that was nice. Well, thank you. Well done. I always like and I see Max and Laura join. Welcome. And uh, I saw other people join. I believe I saw M. Hello, M. And Ugo's I on saw the Gary. show. Yeah. Ugo back in France. Is Ugo in France? Kim Kitty. Hello. Oh. All right. Are you ready? Sure. So I'm going to do original song because. That's what I got my popular vote as. I couldn't decide. Thank you. Thank you for those. Oh. Thank you, Gary, for chiming in there, helping me uh, make a decision there because I'm horribly indecisive. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so I think this one's um, kind of on the holiday topic, you know, as we're all writing our wish list to Santa. Are your kids writing wish list to Santa and doing all that stuff? Mm, in a way. Wish <laughs> Mine are too young for that, fortunately, but <laughs> uh -huh. if they were, I think I would try to get them to focus on this um, the song is called One Wish, and um, it's really about- You're single. Yeah, a single. Yeah, it's one of our recently recorded songs, and I shared it recently, and uh -huh. it's just being about being grateful for what you have, and and that's pretty much the message there, so I think it's 
appropriate to share this time of year and any time of year. <laughs> it's always good to be grateful. Yeah. All right. So I hope you guys can hear me all right. I, maybe I'll switch. Yeah. Okay. Just my head, head in the picture there. All right. And lovely bikes. And, and my bikes, yes. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Here we go. One wish. Man, I have a big house by the sea, but I've got you and you've got me. Plus, we've got our little family, and that's really all we need is food on the table. I the hearts and love there <laughs> yeah getting a lot of love thank you thanks everybody very, very lovely and timely message yeah cheers thank cheers you. you with water hey what's on your mug this is my lionel richie mug hello is it oh. for <laughs> very nice <laughs> very nice oh you've got i love your voice from trinidad x so far, why did I call you Excobar? 
I have known you that. and loved you for how many years? And I just called you Trinidad Escobar. I love her, your voice too. I'm so flattered. Thank you. What a compliment coming. From. Wow, I love your new single, both of you. Your your autumn. Your Thank you. Leaves fill my lungs. Song that was so beautifully done. That was gorgeous. Very, very much. Yes. Yeah, and M appreciates it. That's M. The that long Chalayo Dornelope. Did Ooh. I say it right? Um. Yeah. M says that was fun song. Lots of hearts. <laughs> Sounds uh, nice. Hearts. hearts abound. <laughs> and now I've got wheels spinning. Boo. There we go. You're back. <laughs> oh, did, oh. Did, did the service say okay? Hopefully. Hopefully my signal was okay. Yeah. It's still good as far as we can tell. Great. Oh. Um, because this whole thing started in the age of pandemic and peak media, a question I like to ask is, what was the last thing that you watched and loved? The last thing I watched, like, show-wise? Yeah, anything. Movie. Hmm. What are we watching right now? We're watching, like, a Netflix show, Young and Hungry. Ooh. it's entertaining it's got like five seasons on netflix so it's always good when they have like more than two seasons because we just like binge through them but yeah it's fun cool. it's kind of, like frustrating because you feel like the, the plot's a little too like circular like really really we're doing this again but it's <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um i can't think right. of like i don't remember what we were watching before that we just watch whatever mm -hmm. how about you do you have a favorite movie or a show that you guys enjoy favorite thing actually something we're enjoying right now the last thing that we watched and loved hawkeye actually tis hawkeye 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 on disney plus it's the new marvel show and it's okay. good i okay. think so nice is it kid friendly is it like age appropriate or is it like more like it it gets pretty violent. My kids go under the cover sometimes okay. <laughs> for that show. We warn them. Maybe I'll they hide. For after the kids are asleep. Mine are very young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, um, yeah, most of it we watch together because mine are a little older at this point. And they've seen enough Marvel stuff where they kind of get where it's going. They, we... We've taught them about story structure from an early age. So um, so my daughter was saying before we watched the last one, she was like, well, if this is the second to the last episode, then this is where they're going to reveal who the, the bad guy is and they're going to have a fight, but they're not going to win. <laughs> and then the next time they are going to win. <laughs> so we've just been like, breaking that stuff down for them since they were really small so they like know what to expect yeah. so they know like generally what the beats are right so, okay. <laughs> we were like yeah you're right That's <laughs> penultimate episode rules that's right <laughs> yeah you gotta set it up for the showdown and then you've got the denouement and then you know it's over. Sequel time. Maybe. I don't know. Second okay. season or something. Maybe. Who knows with oh, that? Climax. Show. The, all the all the necessary mm. stuff. All those things. <laughs> um. So hey, do you have anything coming up that you want to promote? Um, so you're single for sure. Yeah, we've got a couple of our um, songs that are up on our YouTube page that we recorded recently, including the, um, including the One Wit and Skunk Puppy and um, Goldfish Syndrome is another fun one and um, Shut Up and Kiss Me. So a couple of different um, uh, things that we recently recorded and we're just trying to figure out how to get it out in the world. I guess we'll probably have to get it on Spotify mm -hmm. at some point because that's a thing to be doing 
and um, we will be playing as guests in the the Certain Sparks Music. Their local music store is having a recital on Friday and Saturday. So on Friday is the adult recital, and we'll be performing as guests in that recital. And then we will be there on Hi. Saturday supporting the youth recital, and I'll be doing a little craft for the youth then. Aww. Um, and then on Sunday, we'll be performing a private show for the Lompoc Comprehensive Care Center. So we've got some. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're just trying to spread the holiday cheer. I've got my little holiday sweater. I thought you'd like this sweater. My Mary. Yeah, I do. What oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any puppy sweaters. Maybe skunk puppy should have a skunk puppy sweater, but maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. I Hey, I approve. I like grumpy kitty sweaters. You have the, all the kitties. <laughs> I do. I so do. <laughs> oh, what if I had all the kitties? I'd get wild. But it's nice to think about. Oh. You can get like a custom sweater. Do you have any custom sweaters with their faces on them? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I, I think I probably should. <laughs> I think you probably do that. Or the socks, at least. They definitely have that where you can make it, like, your your clothing and get your your loved one's photo of it or your cats or <laughs> M says it to me because that sweater um I imagine because that sweater bears strong resemblance to their Theo. Aww. <laughs> Even has a little jingle bell. So fan so festive. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> And I saw in the comments, Trinidad said, watch Yellow Jackets, please. What is Yellow Jackets? I'm going to have to find out. I'll report back. I'll report back about Yellow Jackets. Yes. Yes, Yellow mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm into it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. So you have quite a lot to promote. That's excellent. I have one thing. Well, I have. Oh, Christina Ricci is in Yellow Jackets. Well, I love Christina Ricci. Oh, yeah. So, Juliet Lewis. Um, Juliet Lewis. Oh, man. Both okay. Okay. Oh, no. I'm going to find out and report back. Um, so, we've got When Autumn Fills My Lungs still out there. Thank you for shouting love that out. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Song. So, well done. You recorded that on your own, right? Didn't you say yeah. you recorded? Yeah. Mm hmm Beautifully. I so recorded beautiful. some here. She recorded some there. And then um, Jam Phelps, Dank Studios, put it all together, finished mixing for us. And Cobra, oh. I assume, or who did? It was a collaboration. How did the collaboration work between you two? Um, we sort of sent tracks back and forth. So um, I wrote, I actually wrote the song a long time ago. And um, we decided that it would be a Blue Ghost song. And so I did my, like, guitar and vocal demo and then um, sent it to Trinidad. And she added piano and amazing, like, um, synth strings. And she mm -hmm. also did some takes of herself singing lead. And that was ultimately what we went with was um her lead hmm. and i layered some harmonies over it so yeah the um, harmony beautiful beautiful harmonies thank you beautiful thank you very much mm -hmm. thank you so it was um it was really fun it was really cool to hear all the different layers evolve and everything um and she added so much such imaginative and um really really cool parts so i was excited oh and i played bass i should also say that oh nice Mm -hmm. So it was all yeah. done distantly, like you were sending, you're sending tracks back and forth, and mm -hmm. wow, so cool. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And if yeah, we just you know had to troubleshoot slightly, but not too bad. Really, not that, not too bad. She did a good job on her end. And I did my best here. You both did great. Jam might have some other words. Jam might be like, eh. <laughs> it was not so tight. But I don't know. 
I'm very proud. I think we did a good job. Yes, agreed. We should um, be. Thank you, and you should be proud of your stuff too. Thank you. Yeah. So my thing that I'm wearing that I wanted to share is Kevin's merch. You may have seen that my husband, Kevin Coons, did a merch sale recently. He put up like one post. And um, so I don't know if you're aware, but he's got vinyl and he's got two small shirts left bearing the name of his old band Candle. Candle. Please show mm -hmm. Candle. Yes. Candle. They are unisex size small. So cute. And I took one. Nice. Because I went, wait a minute. I don't have a shirt. 14 year old shirt. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I went, hey, I need one of those, and I snatched it. So he had three available. Now he has two because I took them. Nice. But um, if you're a, if you can wear a unisex size small, you can match me in a candle shirt. Ooh. How much are those going for? I don't know. Kevin, how much are they going for? And there's this color, and then there's like a red Ooh. as well. Nice. Along with, he's got CDs, he's got vinyl, he's got something for every budget. So, of his, get of them his out of old stuff or all of the stuff free. I like free shirts. Oh, the so shirts are free. <laughs> Heck yeah, ship me a shirt. <laughs> all right, there you go. Shirt for you. <laughs> I love free swag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's what I feel like, um, like chatting up or chatting about because I'm wearing it. So it's quite comfortable. It's that mm -hmm. American Apparel kind of the old concert shirts they used to make. Nice. Sounds yeah. comfy. It's a good color, too. I like the green. Thank you. I like green it as well. It's really so festive. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. All righty, everybody. I'm entering loopy mode. It's going to be time to go to bed. I never um, loopy mode. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you no, know, that's true of me as well. That's that's gold. All picture. right. Round and around and around we go. <laughs> Indeed. Next time. In <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for coming back. Thank you so much. For and, me. Um, it was a pleasure. Of course. Well, here. Right, everybody have a good night and a good week. Bye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs>